Hey friends, thanks for watching. My name is Meredith if you are new here and today's video is a peek into what my evenings have been looking like while in quarantine. I'm going to share a few of my current favorite beauty products as well, so hit the like button if you enjoy this kind of video and subscribe if you're new. Let's get started. So usually my evenings start off with making dinner. So tonight Jack and I decided to make hamburgers, corn on the cob, mac and cheese, and a side salad for dinner. So you can see I'm just shucking the corn and he's taking care of the hamburger meat. I really wish I had a grill because this was such a nice night. It would have been a perfect night to do some grilling. And I'm sure that a lot of you who have an outdoor space have been using it a lot more while in quarantine just for an excuse to get out of the house and enjoy a little bit of fresh air. Since we didn't have a grill to use for the corn on the cob, I just did it in the oven. And if you guys have not done this before, it's a great way to get almost like a grilled effect without having to put it on the grill. I just slapped some butter on it and then some different spices. So I use salt and pepper and garlic powder. Sometimes I really like to use Old Bay too. And then you just roll it up and stick it in the oven. I set my oven to 400 and cook these for about 20 minutes, but you could also turn the broiler on and get them a little bit crispy if you like the charred look as well and the charred taste. And this is our super delicious dinner on this night. Not the healthiest thing in the world, but we did have a side salad with this. I didn't put that in the clip here, but these burgers were so good. Jack really knows how to season meat. I'm just not a big meat person. But anyway, after we had our dinner, we went outside and lit a fire in the backyard. We have been doing a ton of yard work lately, and so there are a lot of twigs and things that we need to burn up. So we've been trying to have a fire at least once a week to try and use up some of this wood. So we decided to roast marshmallows. We got things to do s'mores, and this is just a really nice way to kind of unwind as the sun sets. wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't include a little bit of cleaning in the video. After we did our s'mores outside, I just came in and tidied the kitchen up a little bit more, made sure to wipe down all the countertops and put away our s'mores things, and then we are going to get on to the relaxing part of the evening. Baby, there ain't nobody like you. So I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of my sourdough starter that I started a couple of days ago. I know some of you on here are also doing sourdough starters at home. I can't wait to share with you guys what I bake with it. But now I'm just lighting a few candles in my house, in my kitchen, and in my bathroom just to kind of set the mood and make sure that I am in a relaxed mindset. The one here in the bathroom is in this sandalwood scent and it smells just like summertime. I know that I am so ready for summer. Let me know in the comments if you are anxious for summer too. And then I'm just gonna tie my hair up and get ready to get into the bathtub. And I'm going to use a few products while I am in the tub that I wanted to share with you guys. And the first one is this Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt. Uh, it's like a bubble bath, but it has essential oils in it and it has Epsom salt in it. And it is so relaxing and it really does help soothe your muscles too because of the Epsom salt. So when I do yard work or I have had a really strenuous day, then running myself a bath with this really does kind of help my sore muscles and helps me to relax. Baby, there ain't nobody like you. The next product that I wanna share with you is the face wash that I use. It is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash in the Pink Grapefruit scent, and it has those micro beads that really help to cleanse your skin. And then my body wash is this Summer's Eve. It's a five-in-one cleansing wash in the Island Splash scent. And ladies, this is an awesome body wash if you want to help maintain your pH balance. And then once I get out of the bathtub or out of the shower, tonight I'm going to self-tan. I don't do this every night, but I use when I do self-tan, the Saint Tropez self tan in the classic. It's a foaming um, mousse. And then I always make sure to use the Saint Tropez mitt with it as well. It just works the best 
for getting an even tan. So I just put a couple of pumps of the foam onto the mitt and then I'm just gonna gently rub it into my skin in a circular motion. I usually try to get my arms, my legs, my chest, anything that really shows with clothes on. And then of course, as summer comes up, more and more skin is showing. I'm wearing dresses and things like that. So I wanna make sure I cover every part of my body. And then I'm going to use a face mask. This is the Rooted Beauty Green Tea Mask. And I got this from the Grove Collaborative website. I always have my link down below if you wanna try some of these products out. But this face mask, it is so gentle and it is so good for sensitive skin. It says it right on the tube and it is totally correct. It smells delicious. If you like green tea, then you will love the scent of this. But this is one of the few face masks I've tried that does not burn my skin or irritate my skin. It really does the job. And then while that face mask sets on my face, I am going to head into the kitchen and boil some water to make some tea. This is just a little, you know, nice touch to my evening, especially if I'm having a hard time sleeping or I know I'm going to have a hard time sleeping, then making a cup of tea is really relaxing for me. I am using the Celestial Seasoning Sleepy Time Tea and my adorable Ray Dunn mug. And this is my favorite tea to use at night. While the water's boiling, I'm just going to rinse off this face mask. Usually it sits for somewhere around 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna move on to moisturizing. So the first moisturizer I'm using is the CeraVe PM lotion, and this has no SPF in it. It is very lightweight and perfect for wearing before bed. And then I'm going to use tonight my jade roller to help depuff my face I have very dark under eyes and very puffy you know under eyes as well and so this really kind of helps to depuff those areas of my face that tend just to get a little bit puffy and then I'm going to go in with a second moisturizer tonight since I did self tan and I am going to be using my um, fake bake this is the self tanning lotion for your face and I should mention that all of these products the self tanner and the fake bake um, facial lotion they all have a color guard to them so what that means is that you can see exactly where you're putting the product which is why it looks so dark is it helps me to see where I've rubbed it in you definitely Definitely want to make sure that in the morning you wash off your self tanner and your facial lotion because it is not meant to look like that once um, your skin will gradually tan. And then I'm going to wash off my hands and head into the kitchen to pour myself my cup of tea. Some nights I will watch a movie, other nights I will play video games or watch YouTube or really whatever I'm feeling. And so on this particular evening, I was watching one of Angie Belmar's new videos. I think it was her Sephora VIB sale recommendations or something like that. But that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that it brings you some inspiration for how to give yourself a relaxing evening. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and I will see you guys again really soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.